What up? It's Esteban hanging out with Havoc. What's going on? Man. All right. You good? You know it, man. So let's talk about 13. Why did you now want to come out with a new album after such a long wait? I mean, it's, like you said, it's, it's been a while. You know what I mean? I'm a fan of the music. I'm a fan of my music. You know, and, uh, as am I. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. And um, I finally decided that it was time for me to, you know, give the fans what they want. Uh, was there anything in particular that inspired you to do it? Or were you just like sitting on some dope records? What was it? Um, Cause you know, I spent a lot of time producing. Right. And you know, Mob Deep took hiatus. Mm -hmm. So I got all this music built up in my computer. So I'm like, <laughs> why not, you know, let it go. You know what I mean? Word. So now why 13? That number is usually like has a negative connotation. Right. I mean, that's what people believe, you know what I mean? Everybody, that's what, you know, we're led to believe that 13 has this like negative effect, where actually it's the opposite. But just to make a long story short, it's my lucky number. Of the 13 records, did you do all of them production-wise? Um, I didn't do all of them, but I did the bulk of the project. Okay. You know what I'm saying, which I'm happy about. But I also like to share producer credit with other producers, because, you know, sometimes it'll be kind of boring if it's just, one complete sound, uh, you know, sometimes that can be good too. But, you know, I shared a uh, producer uh, room with other uh, producers on the, on the project, you know, uh, Royce Music Group, my man Focus, and a few others, but I did the bulk of the project. What is it about a producer that impresses you enough that you want to rhyme on their record? Because, come on, man, you have it. <laughs> like, your production is, like, some of the best. Um, It has to be, like, definitely in my eyes feel like it's on my level or better than what I do you know what right. I mean because I, I I love producing you know and I appreciate producers so you know when I'm picking a producer like I said it has to be on the same level or on a higher level you know during the hiatus of Mob Deep you were producing for a lot of other people right so like was there, were you itching to rhyme then or were you content in producer mode? Like, you were recording this during that whole process as well? Um, all through my life of producing and, and being a rapper, it always been split down the middle. I love uh, writing and, you know, spitting lyrics as much as I do uh, producing. Producing is a little bit more laid back. You can be a little bit more creative and, and try things. And lyrics is just a whole nother animal. From an artist's angle who, you know, come to Havoc for a beat or to do a record together. Is there a specific, you know, artist that you like to work with in terms of like you giving anybody and everybody a beat or are you very selective with who you let rhyme on your masterpieces? I like to work with artists that I feel is not in the game just for the money and really truly show the passion. So they lyrical skills don't even have to be on any kind of level, but right. if I see that they have this certain passion, like those are the artists that I would like to work with. Now you also do, um, beat projects with up and coming producers as well. Right. So like, you know, tell me about them. Why did you want to, you know, put that together? Um, because I, I believe the up and coming producer is like the best producer to work with because they're still hungry. Why? You know what I mean? So what better producer to work with than somebody that's got something to prove. Now, I mean, you, you become, you know, like a mentor to these type of kids. Do you, are you giving away like all of your production secrets or you kind of you helping them utilize their own? I'm trying to figure out their secrets, you know what I'm saying? Because the young kids is the one that's like more innovative and coming up with stuff. I mean, my cat is out the bag. You, you, know, you, you know what I do. So, I mean, I, I just love up and coming dudes and I love to hear them and, you know, see what they doing. Not too long ago, I got to interview the Good Music family. And, you know, they were kind of talking about the way Kanye sets up his studio out in Hawaii. Right. And, like, the signs that are all on the wall. And one of those signs is, what would Mob Deep do? Right. So, like, how do you feel about you and your group and your sound being something that even now today has withstand the test of time, but people are trying to achieve that sound like a Kanye West? <laughs> I'm, like, truly on it humbled by it, flattered, all at the same time. I, I can't even describe it. It's like, to hear that is like, wow. You know, it's just like gratifying, like, you know, instant right. gratification. It's like, word, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I've been working this long, so my mantra could get up on Kanye's right. wall, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs>